Hello everyone and thanks for clicking in. My name is Ronald and today I'm going to show you how I took these Christmas ornaments and created this beautiful Christmas charcuterie. Starting with the board and the bowls I'm using, I wanted to stay with the green tones that match the nice green and cream colours of the, these ceramic Christmas trees, which I'm going to place in the centre of the board and make them just a, just that, a big centrepiece. There is no rules anywhere that says you can't use some nice Christmas ornaments right on your charcuterie board. If you've got them, use them. Next up I add my cheeses, starting with this soft cream cheese which I've just put on this small or miniature cake stand or cupcake stand. And cheeses are the next biggest items on the board so you want to fill in the biggest items so that you're filling up your space and make sure you've got them on there first otherwise you'll be fighting for space later. Today I'm using blue cheese, the soft boursin cream cheese at the front, some brie and some marbled cheddar. These cheeses are what I call fan favourites and I use them because I know people like them. Once I'm happy that I've got all my cheeses in the, the positions where I want them, I'm going to start with the meats. Now, this, uh, I like to use a selection of tasty meats positioned strategically so that I'm balancing colour and accessibility. Earlier I had placed the bowls with my olives and pickles as you can see and I had added into them little toothpicks with those colourful little toppers and that helps to add a little sparkle of colour on the board. And at the back that little bowl was the Asiago dip and I'm going to just add some vegetables to go with that. Just some easy to pick up and dip carrots and peppers. It's an easy way to add more Christmas colour onto the board. From here I can start adding some tasty nibbles. We'll start off with some nice bite-sized pepperettes. Easy to pick up, just positioned around the board. And I'm also going to start decorating at the front here, um, around this cream cheese um, display and just adding some reds and greens. Obvious, tomatoes and olives. I'll add some crunch and texture with some breadsticks. Nice olive flavoured breadsticks. And in the middle around the Christmas trees I'm just going to fill that real estate with my selection of crackers. I don't like to use an awful lot of overpowering flavours in my crackers or bread. I like to have variety in them of course but I don't want them to take away from the flavours of the things that you would be putting on them. I've taken the little Christmas bowl or Christmas balls sorry that um, I had started at the beginning and then I just positioned them within the trees that adds a nice little block of colour. Some nice raspberries there for some freshness and I think you'll agree this has turned out to be an excellent and a beautiful looking charcuterie board that my guests will be pleased to enjoy and if you use some attractive Christmas ornaments and create a board that has creativity and interest and texture and colours I'm absolutely positive that your friends will appreciate not just the effort that you put into it but they'll also enjoy the variety of tastes and the discovery of new flavours and with a festive charcuterie board and in the company of great friends, you will have helped your guests to relax and enjoy the holiday season. If you enjoyed this video and like discovering charcuterie ideas, please hit the subscribe button. You can ring the little bell for notifications and a thumbs up would be great. I'll be posting more Christmas food platter entertaining ideas, so please check my channel or click the link here to discover how to create the ultimate finger sandwich cake. When you create great platters, you'll create great get-togethers and great memories. Enjoy!